Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be doing a full face of Chanel, incorporating some new things that I just purchased and some old favorites. Uh, but I wanted to do this video especially because Chanel has come out with new colors for their La Rouge Duo Ultra to New. This is Chanel's liquid lipstick, basically. And I have, <laughs> I've talked about this formula so many times and I actually did a live stream where I applied this eight very greasy pizza, multiple slices, and the lipstick was on good, did not smudge at all. So this is hands down the most comfortable liquid lipstick that won't budge that I have ever used. So now that we're all wearing masks, I thought let's go ahead and talk about these again. And they've also come out with new colors. So I purchased four of the new colors. I've purchased uh, 166 Timeless Beige, uh, 180 Passionate Red, 182 light brown and 184 intense brown. I am very excited for these new shades. The shades that they had before were very nice. They were definitely like red kind of pinky leaning and I'm just, I'm really, really excited to try these out. I haven't even taken them out of the box yet. And I also hauled a couple of things but haven't used them, you know, in a video for you guys yet. So this is the new Balm Essential. It's the multi-use glow stick in the color Rosé. So this came out with their Fall 2020 collection. I pre-ordered the pieces from the Fall 2020 collection and this was like a straggler. This came a little bit later than everything else. So I made a video with that. It didn't include this. So I thought I would just throw it into this video. Hopefully it'll work all together. I think it will. Um, and then I also purchased this Alizane blush, which is not a new blush, but they kind of are doing a re-promote of this and two other shades uh, for fall 2020. It has like the red emblem on the top instead of the white so I thought I would use this. We'll see if these kind of go together. These new things I'm gonna be mixing in with some old kind of like Chanel goodies. So I thought I would start with the Chanel CC Cream. This has an SPF 50. And this is just a product that I really enjoy using in the summer, but I have not used it that much this summer. So I was flipping through my foundations and I have the Le Beige, the Healthy Glow Le Beige. I have the Sublimage that comes in the jar. And I was like, are those the only Chanel bases I have? And then this was like, hello. So I had forgotten about this guy. I have the shade 20 beige and the active um, SPF in here. It's a mixture of chemical and physical sunscreens. So I have nothing on my skin. I, I mean, aside from skincare, but I only have uh, like moisturizer down. I don't even have any SPF down. You probably will want to use separate SPF. You don't want to always kind of depend on what is in your foundation, but I'm not going out today. So I think the SPF 50 in here is probably good enough for me like inside. And if I remember correctly, the CC cream has pretty like pretty good coverage but it is a nice kind of consistency it's not too thick it's not too runny or anything i'm just going to use my bk beauty 101 brush and the shade still works yeah and it still smells fine it's, it has that like chanel fragrance to it so i'm just putting a very light layer on i don't want a lot of coverage today All right, I don't have any Chanel concealer. I love their, I think it's called the Color Corrector. It comes in a tube with a wand and a doe foot applicator. I love it, but I decluttered that a while ago. I was pretty much done with it. It was kind of, you know, drying up a little bit and I really want to repurchase it, but I want to get through the concealers that I have in my collection, which seems like may never happen, but I do love that Chanel concealer. Anyway, I'm mentioning this because I don't have a Chanel concealer, so what I'm doing with this CC cream is just adding it to places where I feel like I need a little extra help, and then I'm just gonna forego concealer. All right, so there is the CC cream all over. Like I said, I'm gonna skip concealer, so I'm gonna go straight to powder. All right, I have my uh, Chanel loose powder, I think, I think maybe they reformulated this. I'm pretty sure they extended the shade range, but I think maybe they also reformulated it too. Anyway, I have the previous version then if they did, and I have this in the shade 20 Claire, translucent one. And this is a fairly matte powder, so I'm going to take it a little easy, but it is actually a nice match to this CC cream. Since it has SPF in there, I feel like it is like a fairly shiny <laughs> kind of base. All right, a bronzer is next, and I'm going to use the Healthy Glow Illuminating Powder in Sunset. This is the one that has that like rope detail in there. This is also the one that's a little bit on the warm side, and it definitely has like a golden sheen to it. All of my, br <laughs> All of my brushes are dirty. 
like 99% of my brushes are dirty. So I'm going to go back in with this uh, refer brush. And this is the perfect brush actually for a bronzer like this because I don't want anything too harsh. Warm up the neck a little. All right, I look a little sun-kissed now. Perfect. Uh, okay, let's move on to blush. So now we have some new things here. So this multi-glow stick, let me just remind you in case you did not see when I hauled this, this is a Balm Essentiel. So this isn't one of their like cream cheek products. This is a product that is definitely much more like sheer and balmy. So let me do a swatch for you. So that is what it looks like. So by itself, I think it actually could be a very nice highlighter, although there is a fairly strong kind of like peachy shift to it. But I don't think it's enough, at least for me, I don't think it's enough for blush. So I think what I'm gonna do is powder some of the Alizane on and then kind of tap this over as highlight, tap it kind of like maybe on top of the blush, certain points, we'll see what happens. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of the Alizane. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's A-L-E-Z-A-N-E. -E. It's number 260. And I'm gonna use my BKBD 104 brush. And, ooh, ooh, that's pigmented. All right, there is Alizane. There is a beautiful sheen to it. You can kind of see it in the pan. It has, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if the camera's catching it, but it has definitely like a nice bright satin kind of sheen to it. So it looks like it's a little bit of like a high lit kind of blush. Is that a word? High lit? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move on to this new Balm Essential in Rosé. And I am, since I have all this powder product down, I'm not gonna, you know, like swipe the cream product on. So I'm going to run my finger over it and then I'm gonna tap it on. I'm just putting it where I would highlight. I think it's doing a nice job catching light there. And then just dabbing a little bit onto the apples of my cheeks. And I'm gonna take a close look and see if it moved product underneath. No, actually I think it's sitting on top of the powder product nicely, but I would definitely recommend just kind of gently tapping the product. Ooh, so pretty. Oh, I love that combo of rosé and um, this Alizane powder blush. Oh, that's lovely. And if you're unfamiliar with the Chanel Balm Essentiels, they, I would not say that they set down completely. So there is like the, the slightest bit of tack on my cheek, but it's not so bad. It's not like real sticky and goopy. There's just a little bit of tack. So just be aware of that in case you do not know. All right, for eyebrows, I am going to use my favorite Chanel eyebrow product. Oh my God, there's so many tools in here. It's hard to hold up. But this is the Brow Wax and Brow Powder Duo in the color Dark. And I actually use the little tools that it comes with. So this little spoolie I use, I just kind of scrape over the wax and then I just brush that into my brow lightly. All right, and for eyes, I'm gonna use an old favorite. And as you guys know, I've been loving the one and done shadows. So I grabbed the Ombre Premier in Patine Bronze. That's unhelpful. In Patine Bronze. So I've got my Westman Atelier Baby Blender Brush and I'm gonna go into Patine Bronze. And I just swirl it in. And you can see it picks up plenty of product. And I just start sweeping it across my lid. And I just buff the edges out. So easy. And then for eyeliner, I pulled out like a real oldie but goodie, but this is the Stila Ombre Contour in Electric Brown. Do you guys remember this? I, well, I love it still, but I loved this. In fact, you can see how much I loved it. There's like no point left. In fact, does this have a little sharpener? No, I don't think so. So this shade is like a metallic brown. Actually, let me swatch it for you. There is Electric Brown. So I am going to tight line with this. And then just add some to my waterline. 
going to just do a quick lash curl here. And I'm going to use this mascara that is, it's a little on the old side, so I'm going to use it before it goes bad. But this is the Volume de Chanel Waterproof, and I have it in the shade 20, which is like a dark brown. All right, mascara is applied. Let's move on to lips. I'm so excited for these. Let's start by taking these out of the box first. All right, let's start with the lightest one. So this one is Timeless Beige. And I'm gonna do some swatches on my hand of just the pigment. So there's Timeless Beige. Ooh, that looks lovely. So if you guys are unfamiliar with this product, um, what it is, it's like it's dual ended. So there's pigment on this side and then there is like a clear gloss, you could say, but this is actually what sets the pigment down and you, you have to use both. So you put the pigment down, the color, and then what you do is you swipe this clear gloss over and that's what sets it down, but it's also what makes it very, very comfortable. It's such an interesting and unique product. It is the absolute best liquid lipstick out there in existence. Um, so that is Timeless Beige. Next we have Passionate Red. Oh, I thought this one was gonna be warmer it looks like kind of like a brick red in here but it actually is pretty kind of blue based not horrible but not really what i expected so that is passionate red this actually reminds me of their blueberry color and then we have oh my gosh i'm so excited this one is light brown there is light brown oh my god if this color doesn't scream Michelle, I don't know what does. It's kind of like just a hint cool toned. Ooh, I love it. And then this one looks gorgeous in the tube, but this is intense brown. And can you see those like metallic little micro glitters in there? I thought I saw it online and I was like, no way. <laughs> so excited. Let's swatch this. So interesting. So this is intense brown. I really hope the camera's picking up like the little bit of like metallic sheen that it has. Oh, it's really cool. I love these two browns because they're a little bit cool toned. Okay, because these are liquid lipsticks, I'm going to attempt to swatch all of them, but let's see how it goes. I'm gonna start with Timeless Beige, the lightest one. And let's start by applying the pigment. And then what you wanna do is let these like set down a bit. And it's a little bit different for each shade, but it will get like a little bit stick. Like you'll know when it's set down is my point, but they will definitely feel a little sticky here. So once it gets to that point, then you wanna put the gloss on. So you definitely want it to set down and then you can put the gloss on. And everyone always thinks like, well, isn't, isn't the gloss like gonna make it like not a liquid lipstick? But that's the magic of this. It's the gloss that makes it the liquid lipstick. And you know it's set down because I didn't get any like pigment actually on this like clear white brush. And this will stay on your lips all day, all day through meals, through talking, through drinking everything. Like I said, I ate a very, very oily, greasy pepperoni pizza, I think is what I got for that live stream. And I ate a couple slices and then I took um, a paper towel and I blotted my lips and nothing came off. Like nothing, absolutely like nothing comes off. I'm going to put a face mask on. I got this one from NARS and I'm going to hook it around. So it's on my lips and there is like nothing. This is the inside. So here's the outside with the word NARS. And then here is the inside, like absolutely nothing on the inside. These lipsticks are incredible. I'm telling you, if you guys want, and so many of you have been asking me about mask proof makeup. In terms of a base, I think that is very, very difficult. Most likely powder setting spray is what you'll want to go with. But in terms of lips, there is absolutely nothing better than these Chanel liquid lipsticks. They're the absolute best. All right, let me go ahead and take this off and we will swatch the other ones. So at night when I use like a cleansing balm to remove my makeup, it comes off fairly easily. But with these makeup wipes, it's definitely a little bit more difficult. 
and my lip is feeling a little raw <laughs> at the moment. I don't know if you guys can see how like pink it is, but I think I'm just going to lip swatch one more, but I'm sure you'll be seeing me use these in the near future. I think I wanna try this intense brown just because it's so unique. Um, so yeah, let's do that. And I'm sure I'll be using these other two colors um, in the near future. And can you guys see on the, like the white part of the applicator, it looks almost kind of purpley. So it's just, yeah, it's just a really cool, cool tone, cool, cool toned brown. So I'm just gonna give it a few more seconds, although it feels like really, really sticky at the moment. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go in with the gloss. You basically wanna put enough of the gloss on until it's like not sticky anymore. Oh my God, I think we have my fall look. <laughs> I'm loving this lip color. Okay, before I let you go, I'm gonna do another lip test. So let me get a fresh piece of paper towel here. Nothing, absolutely nothing. I mean, aren't they amazing? Anyway, <laughs> let me let you go. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Like I said, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to swatch these two, lip swatch these two, the light brown and the passionate red. My lips are just real sensitive, so I will definitely get to them in a future video, but thank you so, so much for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.